All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of All Things Real Estate. And as always, I am your host with Century 21. My name, Kyle Sebeth. And today, unlike any other week, we have a special, special guest on today. She's one of the newer agents uh, to Century 21. She is working with the Matt Patty team down in Warwick in their office down on West Shore Road. And I am so proud and excited to introduce Shanika Hodge. Thank Goes you. by the name of Neek, right? Yes. Awesome. So thank you for having me. You are welcome. <clears throat> so first and foremost, can you just let everyone know? I would like to go over your background. Like you are, you've been an agent for how long? So I've been an agent since um, November of last year. So about like a year. Um, I started off like as well. The reason why I got into the business is because I was doing I was doing credit repair, mm -hmm. and I was finding that a lot of those clients needed they wanted to fix their credit because they wanted to buy a home. So I'm like, okay, why not become a realtor so I could help them fix their credit and then help them buy find a house. home. Yeah. So your story, <clears throat> right? So you did this about a year. <clears throat> so you obviously did credit repair. Is that how you got into it? Like what made you say, hey, I want to do real estate? Like what so, was it that got you into it? So I actually, my, my dad was an investor my whole life. So I was seeing this growing up like as a young child. So real estate was always like in my mind. Uh -huh. But once I pursued the credit repair job, I was like, actually it was like, all right, you got to do this, like uh -huh. get into real estate. So that's when I got my license. So your dad, so you were yeah. growing up, you were seeing your dad flip. Does he own yeah. rentals too? Yeah, he used to own rentals. He's not in that business oh, thank anymore. thank God. <laughs> right? <laughs> thank God. Yeah. So anybody who's never done that, uh, that can be a, it can be great, but it can be a headache. Yeah. Right? It could be a huge headache depending on where the rentals are. So you show your dad coming up, he was buying and holding, he was buying and flipping, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And now we were just talking a minute ago and you said you're doing your first flip. Yes. So yeah, that's exciting. So that's wicked exciting. <laughs> yeah. So on the, let's talk about that for a minute because someone with an investment background, mm -hmm. if you were talking to a brand new investor, yep. someone that's never done anything before, what would you tell them is the best route to go in this market? Buy and hold or flip? I would say flip. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. answer. I would say flip because sellers are getting top dollars Good for answer. their property. Like it's like oh, 40 grand over easy. So. so so that's a great answer. So that tells me right there that you understand the market. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to buy and hold in this market, the numbers don't make that much yeah. sense. It's really hard. You're fighting with, if you're buying a three unit, you're fighting with that person that wants to live in it. So they yep. can overpay because they're looking at it. They're not looking at it as an investment. They're looking at it somewhere to, to live. Exactly. Right? But in this market, the spread for flips is still wide enough where even if you overpay on the buy, mm -hmm. you're still going to get it on the back end. So it yep. doesn't even matter. Yep. So I think the one in Warwick, you said you were like, hey, I'm paying 210 and I'm about to sell it for 299 mm -hmm. You're going to put it on the market. Yep. You could get over, you know, and if you yeah. put 20, 30K into it, you still have enough wiggle room in there. Yeah. Right. To get it going. Exactly. So someone like you <clears throat> that's talking about buying and flipping. Mm hmm. How would someone get involved if they don't have, so 210, right? So yep. you're buying that cash. Yep. But do you have $210,000? No, I don't no, have so that's <laughs> So the problem is a lot of people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So explain to people, like, what would they do if I don't have $210,000, mm -hmm. but I want to flip? Like, how do I do it? What do I need to do? So all you need to do is basically find the property. Yep. Don't wait and say, okay, I don't have the money. I'm not going to like, you know, this isn't fit, fit me. Yep. Find the property, find a lender, a private lender, hard money lender, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then once you get a property, you obviously have to have some money down like right. five. I think it's like between two to five points. Yeah. Um, so that's of the purchase price. So it's, I mean, mine was like maybe 11 grand that I have to come up with. And then they pay for the rest of it. And okay. then you just have to pay them like an interest rate every month. Okay. So let me let me kind of circle that back. Okay. <laughs> so let's use real numbers. Okay. This is this is good. Yeah. So if I find a property for a hundred thousand, mm -hmm. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have a hundred thousand. I yeah. can't oh my god, I can't do it. Most people don't have that. <laughs> right. So what you're saying to me is first of all, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I've identified the property. Yeah. Right? So I look at it, I say this is a good flip. Mm -hmm. The most important thing I would say that you need to know before you go any further, how much work does it need? Yes. And then yep. what's it worth on the end? Yeah. So if I buy something for 100, I see something for 100, mm -hmm. let's say it needs 30, yep. and it's worth 200, would you do that deal? 
Yeah. All day. Because you can make 70 grand. <laughs> all day. Yeah. Do that deal all day. So exactly. at the end of the day, the hundred that you're buying for, what she's saying with points is that when you get a private loan, mm -hmm. when you get a hard money lender or a private financer, right, mm -hmm. they're going to charge you points on a hundred. Yeah. So explain to people how that works. So if I if I charge you three points on a hundred, what does that look like? That's 3% of a hundred thousand. Perfect. Yep. So that means you have to come up with as the buyer three thousand dollars right off the bat yep boom here's three thousand yep so now i'm into it for 103 mm -hmm. right then the lender the one you're working with mm -hmm. right he's gonna give you if it needs 30 grand is he gonna give that to you yeah i have the option to take that or you could or take I it can, or put your own money exactly. into it exactly so and if you have the money you want to put your own money into it because right. that's the less money you're gonna have to pay back right you know what i mean so you buy it you put the three thousand up the lender gives you the thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. Now you have the thirty thousand to renovate it. Yeah. Now what? And then you find your people to renovate it. Yeah. And then once it's done, you give yourself a time frame. Yeah. Once it's done, you put it back on the market. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Sounds so easy. Everybody can do it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's not that easy. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Right. You're... What do you think in this market is the hardest part? Um, in this market, I would say finding people to work for you. Okay, that's and one. I would say there's a harder part. So in this market, finding people to work for you, yeah, because they're all busy, the contracts are busy. Yeah. I think finding a house is the hard part. Oh, yes. F yes. Like finding, I think that's yes. where people got to understand. Like These houses aren't just sitting out there. Yeah. There's not a million flip opportunities right now. Yeah, and that's because the competition is so high. Crazy. Like There's a lot of investors. So. Tons of investors, and everyone yeah. has access to capital. Exactly. Anybody can go ahead and, and borrow from you know, Joe investor mm -hmm. and get the money they need to go ahead and yep. do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. So on that flip, right? So let's talk about that for a minute. You pay the three points. Yeah. What does the interest rate look like for an investor? Like, what are you getting? What is that person charging you per month? They're charging me 13%. So explain. So, so what does that look like on, a, on an annualized basis? If you held that property for one full year, how for much? Would annual, you so every month is like 2,500. So that would be 25 times 12 is what? <laughs> 24,000. Yeah. Uh, it's like 30,000. But we don't plan to hold that property for a one year. Right. The plan, it's a quick flip. It's just all cosmetics. So the plan is to do it within three months because you need that 90 day anyway. The 90 day up. flip. So, yeah. so you're looking at it and you're <clears> saying, okay, we're doing a flip. We need 91 days to hold it because mm -hmm. there's an FHA rule, guys, that yeah. you have to hold the property 91 days before you can sell it to someone else. Now, that doesn't apply to VA and that doesn't apply to conventional. Yeah. So we're okay there. But that would limit my, you know, Your my buyer, buyer. pool. Exactly. Yeah, and the buyer's going to be FHA. Exactly. 95% of buyers, 300 and below are FHA. Yep. So at the end of the day, you pay the three points, you pay the 2500 a month, mm -hmm. and your goal is to get out of it as fast as you can. Yeah, by March, I'm, I want it on the market. By March, on the market, hit the market. <laughs> Bir and, that's my birthday present. There you go, and rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you've been in the game for a year. You've mm -hmm. held buyers and sellers for a year, and yeah. now you're going to do your own thing. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so we're coming on to 2021. Yes. We're almost there. Mm -hmm. What are your goals for 2021? My 2021, I want to do three flips, okay. and I want to do at least 15 transactions. So I want to help as many. My, the, the goal is 15, but as many as possible. Okay. I want to help as many people as I can, buying, selling. Um, I mostly want listings this year just because, you know, I want more experience with, with uh, listings. Selling. Yeah. So one good thing is that flip will be a good experience for you. Yeah. Not only will it be a good thing for you to flip to capitalize and profit, mm -hmm. but that's a good experience for you, right? Because yeah. now you get to see kind of on the list side a little more yep. what that looks like. Yep. So it's a great way to give yourself your own experience. Yeah. Now, are you calling this for number one flip? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so you're cheating a little bit. So you only need two. So yeah. you're coming into the game with one flip in the in the first quarter, and then you need to get two for the rest of the yeah. year. I respect that. <laughs> so the 15 people you're going to help buy or sell, mm -hmm. right? That's about one a month. A little yeah. over one a month. One yeah. a month, and then one, you know, two every third month, every three yeah. months. So that's a good yeah. goal. That's yeah. really good. And I already got one for January. So, yeah, so. so you're already ahead yeah. of the game. <laughs> but that's just a goal. I want to obviously want to yeah. exceed that goal. Yeah. Um, so as many as I can. That's good. I'm here to help. So you just came on. When did you sign over? I don't even. What did you sign I over last week? I signed over. Yeah. 
Last, last week? week I transferred my license. Last yeah. week, so you're gonna work out of which office? Out of the Warwick office. You're gonna be in Shoreline. Warwick. Yep. Perfect. Gonna be in. Yep. So we have guys. Just to be clear, we have Century Twenty One Shoreline Properties. Yep. In Warwick, home of the Matt Patty team. Yeah. Who's a super high producer? He does a fantastic job with you guys, making yeah. sure you guys are, are are building it up and increasing production. Yep. Matt's the man. Yep. So you guys, <laughs> you guys are on West Shore Road. Um, uh, no, we're on uh, 1624 Warwick Avenue. Oh, it's Warwick Ave? Yeah. I keep thinking that's West Shore Road. Yeah. So you're on 1624. Well, it's off of West, um, that's what West it is. Shore. West Shore yeah. Road is the counter road. Yep. So you're on Warwick Ave. Mm -hmm. um, how many team members you got? Hmm. <laughs> I believe maybe 10 or 9. Yeah. Good. So you got a pretty good sized team. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. So you have um, 9 or 10 team members. Um, and then your coverage, where do you cover? Um. So I don't. I don't really, I do all over Rhode Island. Perfect Whoever answer. needs my help, Perfect. I'm there to help. You're going to go anywhere, right? <laughs> exactly. You, you, go, you go anywhere and everywhere yeah. to help make it happen. Yes. Right? So South County, <laughs> fine. Woonsocket, mm -hmm. fine. Providence, fine. Doesn't anywhere. matter. Doesn't matter. Where in the last <clears throat> year, you did seven deals? Yes. What was your best experience and your worst experience? Um, my best experience was a deal in Coventry that I did um, with one of my good friends. Okay. And I was just able to help him like find a, a nice property foreclosure. Awesome. Um, you know, has land and you know, he was just very happy about it. But yes. it was actually my worst deal in a way too, because I had to interact with another listing agent that wasn't so nice to me, because they really? knew I was a newer agent. But I learned a lot from that. Um, so it just, it was all in one. So you had your best and worst deal on the yeah, same deal. That's exactly. awesome. So you I learned a lot. I helped one of my good friends and then also I just had a bad experience. With what would you say was the, what would they give you a hard time with? Um, just like, like paperwork, like extensions. Cause it was a foreclosure. So the bank had different like stipulations that they wanted. They wanted to meet a certain deadline and it couldn't happen. So like I had to like move all these, yeah. you know, these dates around. So one was... thing with that that I would say, and this is just advice for you, like you're gonna come across a ton of people that are difficult. Yeah. This business is filled with people that are difficult. Mm -hmm. Our jobs as the agents, right? Whether we're on the buy side or the sell side, mm -hmm. is to get this to a closing. Yeah. I don't need to be friends with you. Yeah. I'm not here to be your friend. Yeah. You have, you're representing the buyer. I'm representing the seller. We need to work together mm -hmm. and make sure we get it to the end. But we don't have to be friends. We don't have to be enemies. We just have to get it to the, to the, yeah. and I think the problem is a lot of agents look at this and they, what happens is they can't separate the emotional part of the business mm -hmm. from the practical part. Yeah. I'm not here to be emotional. Like the clients can be emotional. Mm -hmm. You and I need to be practical. Yeah. We need to look at a situation and say, okay, stop for a minute. How can we come to that? How can we come to a solution that works for all parties? Yeah. But what happens is that doesn't work because a lot of times the other side mm -hmm. will come at you with an emotional attack. Yeah, they're like, he was like very egotistic. Like, like what are we doing? Yeah. There's nothing to do. And, and the mm -hmm. problem is, when that starts, <clears throat> you go on the defense, and I don't know mm -hmm. how you react, but then I'm, <laughs> if you want to start like that with me, then we're going to have to have, we're going to have a problem. Yeah. Because now I'm going to, I'm, my antenna is going to go up and it's going to be go time. Yeah. So that's exactly. the problem that I see in this business a lot. And that's where like people like you, it's good to have new agents in mm -hmm. because you guys just want to learn. You mm -hmm. guys just want to be better. And yeah. any way we can help you get there, that that's what it's all about. And yeah. I think. There's two things I took away from this that I loved about you, and I don't know you that well before today. Mm -hmm. Number one, you're not scared. You're doing a flip yeah. on your first year. Number two, you don't even know you probably said this. You said you want to help 15 people. You didn't say, I want to make this much money. You didn't say you want, you said, I want to help 15 people buy or sell real estate. That's why we do this. Mm -hmm. And that's the part, guys, that's important that we understand it's not about you. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. It's about that buyer, it's about that seller. How yeah. can we make this transaction work for them? And guess what? No transaction is smooth. Mm -hmm. There's ups, there's downs. There's some that'll go well, but for the most part, they're gonna have very peaks and rare. valleys, very, yeah. very rare. <laughs> so I think you're gonna have a great career. 
Thank you. Again, I'm pumped that you're on our squad. I'm pumped <laughs> that you're part of the brokerage. And I'm really excited that you and Matt have teamed up over there because I think with Shoreline down in Warwick, you guys are going to be outstanding. So thank you so much for being part of this. And thank you for being part of the brokerage part. And um, with that, we've got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> you got anything you want to say? Um, you know, if you need my help, reach out. I'm here. My number is 401-744-2051. And I hope you guys have a happy new year. Awesome, guys. Thank you guys <laughs> so much. And that is all.